These are hay grove um, high tunnels, and there are many, many different types of high tunnels, including real small ones, uh, medium-sized ones that are all standalone structures, and these are called multiple bay tunnels because they're uh, connected, uh, uh, each bay to one another. And we also think about them in Michigan at least as three season tunnels because they're not engineered to hold snow. So if it snows when the plastic's on, you can be in trouble. So these are covered with plastic from late April, early May uh, through October. And then we get the plastic off and then it sits in the trough uh, in between the tunnels and you bundle it up for the winter and then pull it out in the spring and put it back on. So the tunnels uh, cost about $35,000. It's an acre covered here uh, when we put them in. The plastic costs about $7,500 now to, to cover the tunnels. So the plastic lasts about four years. So in the long run, the plastic is almost as expensive as the, the uh, tunnel. If you annualize the cost of the structure that might last for 15 years or, or so, that replacing that plastic every four years is a, a big, uh, big investment. So we've been growing the raspberries for um, uh, since the beginning. We've moved into a, a few other things with the raspberries. One of them is called uh, double cropping. So these are raspberries that fruit on the first year canes. So they grow up uh, to this high in, uh, during one year. You can cut all the canes down to the ground each, uh, each spring and grow the canes and then fruit in the fall. So you only have fruit in the fall. Or you can keep some of those canes and overwinter them. And if you do that, then they'll fruit in the uh, middle of summer. So you, that's the double cropping. You get fruit on the two-year-old canes in July and then you get uh, fruit on the one-year-old canes in uh, August, September, October, that, that kind of thing. So we're, uh, that's one project that's uh, going on now. Another one is looking at different kinds of plastics. So plastics uh, manufacturers uh, um, are working real hard at developing different uh, properties to the uh, films that you cover pla uh, tunnels with. So they're, uh, call them sometimes smart plastics because they're able to screen out certain wavelengths of light. So one of the things we're looking at is uh, uh, plastics that will allow all of the ultraviolet radiation through and comparing that to plastics that will allow just portions of the ultraviolet radiation through.